Does prosciutto taste like bacon? Because if so, I nailed that flavor in this prosciutto beat. Now, prosciutto is essentially like a sliced, cured Italian ham, and it's described to be kind of like sweet, salty. It can be a little smoky, and sometimes it has a little bit of that bacon-like flavor. And I wanted to recreate that. Now, I've had some ideas in the past to do that with beets, but I wanted to use a recipe that I've tried before from Will Horwitz, where he made radish prosciutto. And that prosciutto, that recipe, won a prosciutto competition. Now, my recipe is a little bit different. His takes about a week. Mine is going to take about two days. So let's get started. It's really easy. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is start off with some pretty fat beets. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we need some large beets for this. And uh, my grocery store didn't have any large beets, so we ended up with these tiny little things. So all we're going to do is just clean off the top end of the stem and then the little nub nipply end off the back. And then we're just going to wash these. I'm not going to peel the skin off. I'm just going to wash them under the sink using a spoon to like scrape off the little whiskers. Then we're just going to toss them into a saucepan with two cups of white vinegar, two cups of water, half of a cup of kosher salt, about a quarter cup of whole black peppercorns, cracked. I just used a pestle and mortar. Then we're going to toss in about a tablespoon of oregano. I'm going to add a little yeast extract to really up that umami sensation. Then I'm going to kick the heat on and get that coming up to a boil while I mince up some garlic and shallot and then toss that in. Once it's boiling, throw a cover on and bring it all the way back down to low and just let that sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. Once that's done boiling, you've essentially made like pickled beets. Uh, these aren't going to be pickled all the way through, but that's okay. If you have time to let these pickle all night long, that it's going to come out even better. But at least 45 minutes to an hour, you're still going to end up with a really good beet prosciutto here. Now just strain that pickle juice out. You can save that if you want to pickle more beets and have them in the fridge overnight or really anything else that you want to dye red at this point now. Now after they're drained and dried, we're just going to toss the beets into like a large bowl. I'm going to smoke these. Now I'm going to smoke these with my own little set up. Uh, if you have a smoker, you can use that. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can look online for some like indoor smoking techniques, which I don't always recommend, but I've done it in the past. But I'm going to use my little Breville smoking gun and a cover. And you can do kind of something similar just by using a bowl and a cover and some of this like little like wood chips here. Now I'm just going to add some smoke to this. And this smoke is generally made for like smoking drinks or adding like a little smoky flavor to small dishes and things like that. I want to kind of smoke this through and through. So we're going to do this over the course of the next hour. And I'm just going to add a few puffs of smoke filling up the container until it dissipates about four or five times. Now, at this point, we have ourselves a nice pickled, smoky, salty, peppery beet. It's going to be pretty good, but it still is not the right texture. So we need to dehydrate this beet. I'm just going to toss them on the rack, throw them in the toaster oven, and we're going to dehydrate these at 160 degrees for 12 hours, which is plenty of time for today's sponsor. Hey gang, I got to tell you about this one because my name just changed. You can now call me Lord Sustache. That's because of today's sponsor. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as Laird, Lord, or Ladies in England. Their title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. And the best part is, established titles plant a tree with every order. They work with global charities, one tree planted in trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. And I'm telling you one thing for certain, next time I'm buying plane tickets, Lord will be the prefix to my name, Lord Mark Stash on those tickets. And established titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing title packs will effectively be right next to my plot within a two minute walking distance. And depending on how many of you want to become Lord or Lady, we could end up building our own little sauce stash kingdom. That's so cool. So gang, this makes a great gift. I just bought one for my friend and I cannot wait to give it to him. And they also have couple packs with adjoining plots and established titles is running an early Black Friday sale. And if you use code sauce stash, you get an additional 10% off. So head over to establishedtitles.com slash sauce stash to get your gifts now. Everyone's going to love it. It puts a smile on everyone's face. Established titles, Thanks for sponsoring today's video and providing such a cool, personalized, unique, and just all out fun gift. So it's been 12 hours. It's been overnight. They were looking pretty good. So I think it's time to pull these and get moving on them. The cool thing is as they are now, they're pickled and mostly dried in a refrigerator. This should be good for a few weeks. So I just want to slice these up. And I will say, even after this first slice, I, I was really happy with them. I mean, they came out exactly how they, how I wanted. They're dried all the way through. They have like a really nice consistency to where they feel solid. Like you can slice them incredibly thin. 
in, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I was really excited because I haven't been able to find the vegan Babel or Baby Bell cheese uh, in the stores yet, and I just actually came across it, so I thought this would be really good with this prosciutto. I, I, I mean, I know it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, so let's put this all together. A little cracker, some of this Babel or Babel cheese, and then our prosciutto on top, and this looks really good, so I'm excited to see what Monica has to say. I really like this. This is a really nice treat. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think? Like mm -hmm. just that little cracker there. Do you want to try one of these little slices by itself? Sure. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Mm. Mm. I love that. So there is still mm -hmm. some beatiness there, but only a little. What's the flavor that you're tasting? It's kind of like a sweet and smoky ham. Yeah. Like a smoky ham with a little bit of sweetness, which is where like the beet thing comes from. But I like it because it's kind of got that like, when you eat it with the cheese, it's kind of got that like sweet mm. and cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, smoky, cheesy and sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. It's perfect, yeah. Yeah, super good. Mm -hmm. It's salty. There's that like smokiness to it. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be happy if this was like on like a little charcuterie board, you know? Oh, me too, I love this. I'm, I wanna keep eating it. What would you say? the texture was like. It's kind of got like a soft and firm, like a firm bite to it, like, mm -hmm. but not super firm, but it's just kind it's of meaty. like, your teeth just go right through it, but it's yeah. not like soft or um, mushy or anything mm -mm. like that. I mean, it does have like a beet, almost like a, um, a fruit roll up without it being sticky. Yeah, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's yeah, it's the denseness and chew of the fruit roll up without the gumminess. Mm -hmm. It doesn't gum up at all. It yeah. breaks like meat. Uh, I mean, I think it was, pr I think it's pretty good. I'm good with this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Salty, smoky, everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. Peppery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's perfect. Boom. Boom. Thanks, baby. <laughs> You're welcome. Mwah.